this filters out all the muck that's likely to be in the bottom of that tank. It's a slow process, but one you can't afford to rush. Okay, so that's just some of the muck we're picking up. Yeah, it'll take us 15, 20 minutes to do it properly, but it uh, could save hours or days later. Okay, so we've, um, we've just filled up all three vans. Uh, 176 litres of diesel. That's just under 20,000 Kazakhstan tengi, uh, which is about 72 quid. So um, works out about 40p a litre. So pretty cheap compared to back home. We arrived at the Russian-Mongolia border on Saturday night, hoping to cross, but unbeknown to us and our Mongolian and Russian guides, the border is closed on Sundays, so we had to hang around all day yesterday. But we've managed to cross this morning, and we met up with our Mongolian guide, Dashka, and there are three possible options to getting to the capital, Ulaanbaatar. There's a northern, a middle, and a southern route. The northern route has a lot of flooding and river crossings up there. The southern route is a bit sort of flat and dull, and so there's a middle option that the vehicle should be able to get through and is the most scenic, uh, so that's the one we're heading for. Uh, but tonight we're going to drive for about two hours on these dirt tracks to a place called Olgi, a small town where we'll buy uh, insurance for the vehicles and then make a plan for the rest of the trip across. from Olgi and the roads got pretty bad it's more tracks and uh, rocky areas still absolutely amazing scenery really beautiful at some point we hit a river so the first one was like a little stream uh, you had our illustrious leader sort of go in there and tread the water a bit to see how high it would be and then we obviously went through then the next one saw van one go through went right through the river came out the other side sort of kissed the the ground and then uh, carried on a bit more and there was another river crossing. Just gently steer right, go on. No, no, we're speech, you won't go either way. Stuck in a river. Engine off and then now digging. Okay guys, put them in finger tight and always back off at least quarter of a turn. We came across uh, a couple of small rivers today. It was the first time the guys had ever put these vehicles through water. You have to enter water very slowly, and then once you're in, you just start accelerating forward gently, gently, keep pushing the water away from you. And you're looking for a bow wave, so there's like this big wall of water that's pushed in front of the vehicle. Behind that, there's a bit of a trough, so the important bits of the vehicle are actually not in the water. These vehicles seem to be going anywhere that uh, we're putting in front of them. So, be it sand, rocks, water, massive hill climbs, um, they haven't uh, missed a beat. We were um, driving and crested over a hill and down on the bottom there was a Toyota Prius of all vehicles and he bogged himself straight into a big sandy patch. We thought we were a bit daft trying to get uh, Vivaro vans across Mongolia. We pull up, got some shovels out, clear the sand from underneath the vehicle, lay these tracks down and the vehicle drives on those rather than in the soft sand. So it took us about 10 minutes or so, but we managed to get him out and then uh, we followed. There's no way we could just pass somebody like that and just leave them to fend for themselves. So I think it's, it's good, you know, everyone needs to look after each other in this part of the world. It's heading towards our first day in a yurt camp. It was in a, on a mountainside, beautiful setting. It's difficult to get to grips with driving on the rough roads. Obviously the vans are low and they can get caught out in the rocks. A lot of dust and takes a lot of concentration. We've been driving all day. 
and we haven't really covered much mileage. But actually, it's so beautiful, you really don't mind. It's just out of this world. We arrived in Northern Batar and we've got a, a day's rest, and then we're heading off for our final destination, um, which is probably going to be the toughest of the lot, and that's Siberia. Yeah.